3D rendering converts the 3D wireframe models into 2D images with 3D photorealistic effects. The main goal is to achieve the highest possible degree of photorealistic rendering with at least the minimum rendering speed, which is usually 24 frames per second. There are two types of rendering, real-time and offline rendering as known as pre-rendering. Real-time rendering is the most known type for interactive graphics and video games. And it is much faster than pre-rendering because the 3D images here are calculated at high speed so that it looks like the scenes occur in real time when players interact with the game. Graphics are one of the main considerations of 3D rendering. Unity could achieve realistic renders as it provides stunning photorealistic graphics which is shown in a plethora of its games. Unity also provides the sprite renderer to render sprite type images in both 2D and 3D scenes which allows you to display images as sprites using the concept of sorting order layers to allow you to divide sprites into groups for overlay priority and apply consistent priorities to sprites in the same layer. Moreover, Unity has a highly customizable rendering technology called the Scriptable Render Pipeline or SRP that allows you to tailor the rendering process to your target platform and establish great imagery so you can optimize performance for specific hardware. For example, there is the High Definition Render Pipeline, or HRDP, which targets high-res PCs and consoles and refers to the calculation processing method of Unity that realizes high-quality graphics. And there is the Universal Render Pipeline, or URP, also known as the Lightweight Render Pipeline, which is a powerful rendering solution that delivers beauty and performance and allows you to create scale and optimize stunning graphics efficiently. And as it is a scalable multi-platform render pipeline built on top of the scriptable render pipeline SRP framework, it scales to all of the platform's Unity targets, such as VR and mobile devices, up to high-end consoles and desktop machines. URP in Unity is extendable and customizable. You can edit it to fit your renders. For example, you can inject custom passes and renders to enhance the pipeline's visual capabilities. URP also provides renderer features such as decals and screen space ambient occlusion SSAO, and allows you to update the lighting and material properties at runtime because it supports real-time global illumination via Enlighten. In addition to a wide range of lighting solutions in Unity, where even the complex rendering of lighting can be greatly optimized for runtime and baked-in editor thanks to the CPU and GPU light mapper. Furthermore, URP has great support for cinematic effects with its post-processing effects support that enables you to edit the final image colors in Unity and stimulate camera lens effects such as depth of field, motion blur, bloom, and even more. URP also supports Unity's most recent node-based tools you may visually author shaders in real time using the shader graph. With VFX graph, you can fully use your GPU's capability to produce outstanding VFX for more effects and better rendering. There are three rendering paths for URP to better support the variety of games in Unity. Forward rendering, which provides optimized material and lighting workflows for all supported platforms. Deferred rendering, which allows for the rendering of a large number of lights without sacrificing performance. And 2D rendering, which provides great real-time light and shadows for 2D games, are all available. Additionally, Unity offers advanced lighting, shading, and texture support, besides plenty of graphics and ambience options that help designers add exceptional details to their work. Lighting and shadows are part and parcel of good rendering and photorealism, as they are the main factors that allow depth in a 3D scene. Using Unity, you can create light sources and adjust them to fit your scene to create realistic shadows. Aside from lighting and shading, texturing objects is another important factor in giving renders life and making them more detailed and realistic. The engine provides ease of use as well as a plethora of settings for correctly texturing and adjusting materials. Rendering a complete frame-by-frame -frame work requires high-performing computers and may take hours if not days. Unity reduces that by allowing real-time live editing while rendering.
which is very convenient for animation and game design. The engine also has a huge array of built-in useful rendering tools such as event triggers, animation, lighting, and physics. Besides these tools, there is also Unity Store that is jam-packed with thousands of plugins and items to choose from, including libraries full of objects that can be incorporated into 3D renders. With all of that being said, we can say that Unity is really good for rendering and it's still developing and surprising its users with every version and update. Yet, there are still better options for rendering that beat Unity when it comes to that, like Unreal Engine as game engines or Lumion as a 3D software. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment for any questions or suggestions.